Hello everyone, this is Ian Normus with Tech Defense, and today on Tech Tip episode 19, we're going to talk about using Notepad++ with regex. Thank you. All right, everyone. So uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, you know, normally we focus on uh, Linux tools and Linux environment, uh, but today we're going to talk about Notepad++, which is a Notepad replacement for Windows that has a lot of extra functionality. Um, it's a really great tool. Uh, so anybody using Windows for anything should be using this instead of Notepad. Um, I definitely recommend it. So uh, while it has a lot of functionality and it has a vast community developing, you know, several uh, hundreds of pl uh, plugins that increase that functionality, uh, what I'm going to focus on today specifically is how we can use Notepad++ um, to trim a file down to what we need it to uh, have in it using regex. So um, what we'll use for this is, uh, let's go over to my Honey Drive instance. Okay, so uh, what I have pulled up here, and I'll show you in a moment. So what I have here is uh, logon attempts to Kippo. So by uh, doing a cat kippo.log, I'm grepping for logon attempt. I'm pulling just logon attempts, uh, login attempts from the kippo log. Um, as you can see, uh, I had pretty decent amount of hits to my kippo instance recently using a wide variety of passwords. Um, I really wonder why somebody would think most of these passwords would even work, unless these are some uh, default passwords that I'm not aware of. I just don't know why that they would try these instead of some of the uh, you know, top 100 passwords first. But either way, um, that's what I have here. So this is the file that we're going to grab, and we're going to uh, try to make a word list out of this by pulling out just the passwords. Excuse me. Still a little bit uh, sick, so I might cough a few times here, but I'll try to hold back a little bit. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up is, I see uh, this guy, uh, off topic, I see this guy about every hour or so, maybe a little bit longer, but every hour or so, tries to attempt to log on using a username of an IP address, which, and he's stepping through this subnet, and a password of, oh, excuse me. All right, and, and a password of uh, Kakuza, Kakuza, something like that. A uh, word I don't know. When I look it up, Google says it's Romanian, but I don't know. It doesn't have a translation for that word, so I have no idea what it is. And a, uh, sometimes a, um, also it'll have a, uh, a try another IP from that subnet. And it steps through, right? 15 here. 19 here. Not sure the uh, pattern on the IPs, but that's what I'm seeing anyways. Um, but anyways, I, I googled this and just trying to figure out what was going on. I, I couldn't find anybody else reporting their honeypot getting hit by uh, this type of pattern. So if anybody else has seen this, I'd, I'd love to hear what you were able to find out. Um, so yeah, but moving on from that, um, what I did uh, is pipe the results of this over to Kippo with logons that text, which you will see when I do an ls real, here, real quick here. Let's do. I guess I should have done that in the beginning. Uh, so Kippo login that text, and let's quickly just g edit Kippo logins that text, and let's pull that. So I'm just going to copy and let's throw it in Notepad++. Alright, so this is your Notepad++ interface and as you can see I got a whole bunch of hits. Uh, what I'm going to do is pull out the stuff I did for uh, the Honeybox demo and just leave the stuff that are actual attempts. So from here to here was me testing. Everything else was um, that was actual attempts on Honeybox, or on my Honey Drive instance. 
So this is your, your interface. Uh, as you can see, you have a lot of different options. There are a lot of different plugins. TextFX is one of those plugins. Um, but what we're going to focus on is just using the core search functionality, uh, search and replace functionality with regex to pull out what we need. So again, our uh, goal here is to get a word list using the passwords only. So the first thing that we need to do when uh, trying to figure out uh, how we're going to write our regex, and uh, I should note um, that if you haven't already, Tech Tip episode 12 covers regex basics. I'm not going to go over the regex basics again. I will talk a little bit about some of the basics as I'm going through this, but if you want a real good foundation, watch uh, that episode, uh, which you can find at techdefense.com. So, uh, regex is all about uh, finding patterns. Regex, or regular expressions, is about uh, using patterns to find what you need, right? If I just wanted to search for root in this, I don't need regex for that, right? I can control F, root, got it. But if I wanted to find um, a, you know, the pattern where there's always a bracket followed by four word characters, followed by a forward slash, followed by a number of word characters, followed by an ending bracket, that's the type of pattern where I start using regex. Um, obviously, uh, pro compatible uh, regular expressions, PCRE, is used a lot in signatures for this very thing, right? Um, there may be an attacker who has, uh, you know, landing sites for malicious downloads that will include, um, you know, a randomized ID at the end of the URL. Well, your snort signature is not going to catch it unless you're able to account for that randomized ID. How do you do that? This is how. You use regex to say, hey, it's going to be three characters, you know, stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna hit Control F, which is going to bring up my find and replace uh, stuff. Um, by default, whatever I had selected or clicked near last is what will be in that find what field. But we need to determine how we're going to pull out um, you know, just the passwords from all of this, how we're gonna make it just passwords. So first we need to look at how this log is structured. So we look here, we see it's structured by date, time, service, logon attempt, or login attempt. Then we have our username and password encased in brackets and separated by a forward slash. And then we have whether it failed or was successful or succeeded. So um, we see the pattern. Uh, obviously, there's nothing specifically unique about the passwords. It's not like all the passwords follow. Um, three numbers followed by two letters, right? Um, they're, they're unique, all of these passwords, most of them, shall I say. So we can't just grab, uh, you know, just this. We have to establish what the pattern is right around it to be able to pull it out. So how are we going to do that? Let's start by focusing on this right here. So if we go, we, we understand that it's brackets on either side with a username, forward slash, a password. So let's do this in regex. Uh, unfortunately, let's see, can I make this larger? No, I can't make this larger here. I'll zoom in on the video so you can see it better. All right, so first thing I gotta do is put a bracket in. So if I just put a bracket in, that is a function in regex for a range. Um, so if I put one comma four, for instance, this is looking for the numbers one to four. Or if I put a slash w before this, it would look for one to four word characters. So we can't just put a bracket in because that's a function. What we have to do is we have to escape it. So if we're trying to match this format here from the bracket to the end bracket, we have to start off with an escaped bracket. Um, our usernames are different. They're not always the same, right? So Michael, FTP, Test, Webmaster. So these are all you know, random-ish uh, usernames. Uh, but they all, uh, for the most part, follow word characters. So if I do a slash w uh, plus, that says one or more word characters. The word character 
is uh, letters or numbers. So that's important to note. Now what this wouldn't catch is these guys here. Um, and the main reason, you know, it does catch letters and numbers, but it doesn't get special characters. So we're not going to pull these guys out using this. Now we can replace this with a uh, dot slash, or I'm sorry, a dot plus, which would do a uh, dot means any character plus one or more. Um, so if we did that, any character, one or more, until it gets to whatever we specify next. Okay, so let's use that dot plus, uh, and then the next thing, right? So that covers up to here, and it would go all the way because it's a dot plus, but we don't want it to go all the way. We want it to pull. We want to be able to specifically pull out that password. So next, we're going to say uh, the forward slash. But again, that's a function in regex, so I'm going to escape it by putting a backslash before it. So um, backslash forward slash means just forward slash. And now we have again uh, several characters. Um, here is word characters, but when you look at some of these passwords, which none on this screen, but if I scroll down a little bit, sorry, that was uh, I accidentally scrolled down to one of my previous regexes. As you can see, I use regex a lot in Notepad plus uh, plus to pull out uh, you know passwords and stuff. All right, so let me get back to where we were there. So slash bracket dot plus slash forward slash um, but some of our passwords have special characters in it too so we can't use our slash w we have to instead use dot plus again okay um, and then we have an ending bracket and which again we have to escape so we're escaping that out and black and bracket okay um, and then we can keep going, and then it's followed by space, followed by word plus if we wanted to, but we don't have to do any of that. So this right here, let's copy that, should pull us out these brackets. Let's see if I did a good job. Okay, so it looks like I did, right? So if I hit find, it's finding everything that we expect it to. Good. So that's great, but we want just the passwords in this file. How do we make that happen? Um, I would love to be able to just hit Control C or Control X here to uh, copy or cut this and then put it into a new file. Can't do it. Doesn't work that way. If I hit Find All in Current Current Document, it doesn't uh, export it in a fashion where you can just pull it out. Um, oh, look at that! Because I did the dot slash. Interesting. Okay, so. Here is an example of, of why the uh, this regex needs to be manipulated a little bit, right? So let's do this. So this is showing me that I'm not just selecting the brackets. I'm just selecting almost half the line with it, which is not what we want right now. So why is it doing that? So you can see it's because I'm doing a dot plus, uh, right? So that means any character. So it's matching on this first bracket, not the second bracket. How can we do? Uh, how can we make it start? You know, at the second bracket. Well, we can just pull it in a little bit more, right? We can say um, login slash s, which is a space attempt slash space, right? So now that's going to cut off all this and just give me logon attempt, right? See how it's doing that now. But anyways, to get back to where I was. What we could do to file or to fix this for now, we'll just make it simple on ourselves. Is we'll make this a slash w plus, which will get most of our stuff, but it won't get those IP addresses. Right? So there we go. So now I hit find all in current document, and what do we get? Let's copy this, by the way. All right. Um, so now we get everything that we expected that we would get. Uh, we're not getting the usernames where an IP address was used. But that's OK. Great. So we got it all. Awesome.
but we can't pull it out of here, right? I could copy this out of here, but it's just going to pull it out line by line, the entire line. Um, so while I would love to be able to just cut and paste just the username and password out of here using this now that it has found it, can't do it. So what are we going to do about that? We're going to use the replace feature. Cut that out of there. All right. So again, we got our find and great. That's what we wanted. But we want to be able to replace what we find with just the password. So how do we do that? Well, that's what parentheses are used for in regex. So out of all of this, I want it to match on all of this, but I only want it to pull out just this part, the dot plus, which represents our password right now. So again, if I hit find next, it's going to find that whole string. But if I hit replace right now, watch what happens. We lose whatever was there, right? So root, root, replace. Okay, so it, it, it gets rid of the entire bracketed thing. But I want to replace that with the password, right? So how do I do that? I do a slash one here in the replace. And that's going to uh, replace this string, whatever I have here, with the first selection or, or what's in my first set of parentheses, which is here, which would be the password. So now when I hit replace, we should see guest, guest, admin, Linux. Um, let's get to one where username and password are different. If that is this. Okay, there we go. So test one, two, three. There we go. So um, if I had more than one uh, set of parentheses in here, I could do slash one, slash two to get what I needed. And this is all fine and dandy, but again, we have this problem where I have all this other text here that I don't want. I just want my password list to have just passwords. I don't want there to be any of the other part of the log. So how do I make that happen? Well, you have to select the entire line. So the easiest way to do this, and this will work in most scenarios, is just put a dot plus before and a dot plus after what you're trying to find. And what this will do is select any characters before and any characters after but not go across new lines because we don't have matches new lines selected here and we don't have any slash ends telling us that we made a new line. So now if I hit find next, you should see the whole string is selected. But when I hit replace, it's going to replace it. So our next one will be this admin, admin, one, two, three. When I hit replace, we should see, oh, I'm sorry, we were on that one. So here we should see it replaced with just admin, one, two, three. So now this is what we need, right? So if I hit replace all and document right now, it would replace everything with just the username and password, or just the password, which gives us our word list. So that's what we were trying to do all along. So good on us. We made it. Now you can do some more um, complex things with this, right? So if I threw, say for instance, uh, parentheses around slash w plus, I could pull out the username as well, right, with a string such as um, this one. So if I do replace now, it will replace this line with two new lines because I'm using a slash r and a slash n carriage return and a new line. Um, and I'm, what I'm writing out here is username and then uh, the actual username, new line password and then the password by doing that slash two. Alright, so if I hit replace now, we should see username, webmaster, password, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's what we see. So now you can see how you can start manipulating this to take a log like this and turn it into the data that you want. And then you can save these so you can run them next time because your your log's always going to be structured this way. You can go ahead and run the same thing on it all the time. So replace, replace, let's just go ahead and hit replace all. If I hit replace all and all open documents, it would do it in all, across all my tabs. So I'm just going to do replace all here. And 500, or yeah, 541 occurrences were replaced. So let's see what we got here. 
and beautiful. We got what we wanted. Um, the ones that didn't work out for us were the ones with the IP address because we had the W plus instead of the dot plus. Um, but we could have uh, you know, pretty easily done that as well, just to show. Um, let's see. Just to make sure we get the rest of them. So dot plus there. That should. There you go. So 42 instances of that. Also done now. All right. So there we go. Now we have a password, or we have a um, a list of usernames, passwords, username, password, username, passwords, structured in the format that we chose to do it in. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's how you use Notepad++ uh, to do what you want to do. Um, like always, if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up at the enormous at techdefense.com uh, of course you can find more videos like this at techdefense.com and uh, YouTube and SecurityTube as well um, yeah that should cover it thanks guys